In a significant milestone for India's space exploration, the Indian Space Research Organization has successfully launched its first solar observatory mission dedicated to the, uh, to the sun, to study the sun. Aditya L1, as it's called, uh, has been launched successfully right this morning from ISRO's Sri Harikota Center in Andhra Pradesh. Let's take a quick look at a detailed report on why explore the sun. Four, three, two, one, zero. Plus five seconds. Second September 2023. ISRO made history with the successful launch of country's maiden ambitious solar mission, Aditya L1. This comes within weeks of the ISRO and world's first landing on lunar South Pole by Chandrayaan 3. As the countdown concluded, the 44.4-meter-tall Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle soared majestically at the prefix time of 11.50 a.m. from the spaceport located on the eastern coast about 135 kilometers from Chennai. Second stage separated, third stage ignited. There's a place in between the sun and earth. Third stage separated. At the fourth stage of the launch, the spacecraft separated from the rocket nearly an hour later at 12.54 p.m., making it one of the longest missions of the PSLV. Bharat Mata Ki Jai chants reverberated across the launch site. The liftoff is normal and the rocket has lifted off. It's soaring up to the sky with Aditya L1, which has seven payloads. And the satellite's important aspect is that it is going to study about the sun. What you're hearing right now is a rumble from the rocket because sound travels lesser than the speed of light. And that's what you see currently. That is a rumble as the rocket soars up, breaking the uh, escape velocity that is 11.2 kilometers per second. And as we see, that's the rocket that has gone up in the sky. And this is a very important part because now Aditya L1, after four months, it will reach a point called as Lagrange point. There it will be stationed in a halo orbit. ISRO chief S. Somnath hailed ISRO heroes behind India's maiden solar mission. Congratulations. Uh, the Aditya L1 spacecraft has been injected in an elliptical orbit of 235 by 19,500 kilometers, which is intended very precisely by the PSLV, very unique mission mode here, with the upper stage of the PSLV taking two burn sequence for injecting the primary satellite for the first time. So I want to congratulate PSLV. Yet again, ISRO's Nadi Shakti outshined. The whole mission was led by Negar Shaji, the Aditya L1 director. Aditya L1 has started its 125 days of long journey towards L1. We have uh, our Earth burns to rise the orbit and, that, and followed by the trans L1 injection and finally insertion into the halo orbit in the sun Earth Lagrange in point L1. Once the Aditya is commissioned, it will be an asset to the heliophysis of the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also hailed the tireless scientific efforts of ISRO heroes. For the next four months, Aditya L1 is going to continue his journey. And ISRO putting out commands right now. I can hear it faintly on the side that everything is going normally. You can see that, in fact, PSLV and Aditya L1, with Aditya L1 inside, has now taken a turn, moving towards, uh, in fact, uh, higher and higher away from me. I can tell you that there was a point when I could hear it so clearly, that roar of the rocket, it's, it's surreal to say the least. But that right there is a successful launch. Another feather in the cap for our ISRO heroes. Congratulations to ISRO. Aditya L1 has taken to the skies. In four months from now, he'll be close to the sun. With video journalist Abhishek, this is Akshatan Gopal reporting from Ground Zero from Sri Harikota here in Andhra Pradesh for India Today.